Hundreds of customers left with solar panels that don't work and loans for tens of thousands of dollars they can't afford. I think we were just way too focused on money. The panels aren't working properly or saving them as much money on electric bills as promised. I'm literally stuck with a $70,000 system and a loan over my head that I'm not getting any benefit. Yeah, this guy went from shiny star to black hole, but he's not burning out yet. And that's why Pink Energy's now in the red. About a month ago, we did pretty controversial piece of content with the reindeer Hurtado from DT Roofing in Texas about solar deals. That solar deals don't make sense for the homeowners. And a lot of people have engaged with that video. A lot of roofers, a lot of solar company owners. Today, we're gonna do a follow up on that story and I'm gonna show you attorney general reaction here in Minnesota and few other cases all over the country. What homeowners getting? what the contractor is getting and why the deals don't make sense for the consumer. We're going to follow the money and we're going to follow the story so you can make educated decision not only about your roof but also about a solar financing. Our first story today is going to be about sunlight financing. Uh, this company, uh, Pink Energy, I think old company name was Power Home Solar. You, you will get into details in a second. Uh, they just got negative publicity. A lot of investigative work went into this little clip. Let's react to it and watch it together. Hundreds of customers left without solar panels that don't work and loans for tens of thousands of dollars that they can't afford. Yeah, we've been uncovering problems with Pink Energy, which used to go by Power Home Solar for months. And now we're uncovering new information, raising questions about how loan applications were filled out. WBTV investigative reporter David Hodges is here. He's digging into how everyone but the customers, it seems, ended up with a good deal. David? My first comment here is solar as a concept is an idea. It's good idea. No one can argue that getting solar on your house can be a bad deal. It makes common sense. The biggest problem in the entire story, in the entire industry is financing today is what you're getting and how much you're paying for it. The reality is many people cannot afford those loans. They've been misled, they've been high pressured, and oftentimes they don't know what they're signing up for because it's not transparent deals. Uh, salespeople are not showing to the homeowners um, what they are getting, what they're truly paying for. So we're not looking at the real numbers. We are selling this idea that, hey, you're doing something good for the planet. You're doing something good for yourself, but oftentimes you're not gonna see your money back. And oftentimes you are the one who's getting screwed. Yeah, to get that answer, it's all about following the money. So we've been asking Pink Energy customers to track down all of their documentation, showing how the deal was financed. And we found some interesting anomalies. Dina Mooney is a Pink Energy customer in Missouri and has her loan through Sunlight Financial. Most customers have loans to pay for the systems because they can cost anywhere from $30,000 to $100,000. Lawsuits filed against Pink Energy say their sales reps rushed customers through the loan application process and didn't give them an appropriate amount of time to review those loan applications. Mooney's loan application, which she only received after asking for it again and again, showed what an extra review might have caught. What stood out to you? Uh, basically, that I was un that I'm unmarried, which isn't true. I've been married for almost 25 years, and also they doubled the amount of income that I made on my um, that actual loan application. We reached out to Sunlight Financial, and a spokesperson told us in an email they have adequate checks to make sure applications have accurate information. Coming up at seven on On Your Side tonight, we reveal new internal emails from Pink Energy that raise more questions about what their sales reps were directed to put on loan applications. I mean, my comment to that, first of all, $130,000 to solar panels. I mean, if you think about it, it's like buying a Tesla and a lot of people buying Teslas and other electric vehicles, people are not buying them because it makes financial sense. They're buying it because they like the experience, because they want to Thing green they think it's better for the environment but not always for financial reasons sunlight uh, have a lot of bad publicity these days like for example uh, sunlight financial holdings investors please contact the partner law firm to recover your losses so we're talking about a law firm actually trying to get money back to the investors here uh, Portner law firm advises sunlight financial holdings Inc sunlight or the company 
they're publicly traded company investors that the law firm has initiated an investigation on behalf of investors that lost money on their sunlight stock sunlight investors are encouraged to contact the law firm to discuss their legal rights so sunlight have been uh, called for quite a few bad practices uh, this is not the only uh, articles you can find Google sunlight you will see what's happening with this player let's go to the next one here's another spicy story right here in my hometown Minneapolis attorney general Ellison sues solar panel sales companies lenders for defrauding Minnesota homeowners defrauding when attorney general using w strong words like defrauding you know something is going on a legislator companies lied about their relationship with the minnesota utilities misrepresented financial benefits of purchasing solar panels and tricked consumers into signing binding sales contracts and loan agreements and guys i have seen it for the past few years that's one of the reasons I hate companies like SVG, what Anthony Dolmedico is doing with companies like Titan, because when you know the industry and you know how bad it is, you don't want to be the hater because a lot of people are accusing us, oh, Dimitri, you talk about your competition because, you know, you just want to destroy their house so your house is getting bigger. Not the reality of my world. The reason we're talking about those cases and those players is because it's really bad for the consumers. And I'm happy to see that attorney generals, lawyers, class action lawyers are stepping in and dealing with those crooks because once a crook is always a crook, right? Just because you moved from scamming homeowners in the storm restoration industry, now you're gonna do uh, solar deals doesn't make you a better person, doesn't uh, make you right. Usually people who are already shady and on the scam end, they're gonna keep being shady in other industries. And I see that spreading uh, like a cancer today. On April 26th of this year, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison announced that she filed a lawsuit in Hennepin County District Court against four Utah-based solar panel sales companies and three company executives for engaging in deceptive and fraudulent practices in marketing and selling residential solar panel system that cost Minnesota homeowners anywhere from $20,000 to $50,000, $55,000. Attorney General Ellison is also suing several lenders that partnered with the solar companies to finance Minnesotans' purchases and assumed liability for consumers' claims and defenses. This is the back end of the industry. You go to this networking events, you go to this wine and dine parties and they tell you how to make money and money you can make, but at what cost? Who is paying, who is financing it? How much is reasonable amount to pay for the solar roof? The same with the cars. I mean, truck, like I, I saw a few days ago, the contractor posted a picture of brand new Chevy truck at the cost of $110,000. He said that I can buy a guest truck for $70,000 and I cannot justify to spend $40,000 more to get electric one. $40,000, it's a big change. And I commented on his post, like, just like solar deals. I mean, would you buy a truck for $200,000? Just because there is a perception that you're doing something good and you're going to be saving money, you will be saving money, but you math don't lie, numbers don't lie. You have to understand the numbers. Most of the solar deals are there for 30 years. W would you invest in something to get your money back in 30 years when you know you're not going to be in a house for more than five? That's part of the problem. Companies who were in high waters in April here in Minnesota was Brio Energy LLC, Pure Solar Energy, Clean Energy Educators, Bella Solar Energy, Total Solar Solution, and Brio Solar Energy, Avolta Power, Sunny Solar Utah, Company Executives, Jared Fager, Michael Killeen, Alan Whitetaker, and Lenders, Good Leap, Sunlight Financial again, and Corning Credit Union Services Company. And we're gonna talk about Good Leap as well. So Good Leap and Sunlight already on our bad list. We are creating solar guide for the homeowners because not all players are bad, not all financing companies are bad. 
you can go to directory.com to find not only good solar contractor but also good solar finance companies we're gonna follow closely what's happening in the news what's happening in courts who is getting sued who is honest player and who is shady and we're gonna teach and educate you to help you to make those decisions because if you are considering solar on your house we don't want you to overpay 20 to fifty five thousand dollars like attorney general says here in minnesota i love this quote by our uh, attorney general my job as attorney general is to protect minnesotans from wrongdoing abuse and scams that's especially important at a time when we are trying to help minnesotans stretch every dollar further I'm suing these companies because they've taken advantage of Minnesotans' good intentions to have some money for their families and create a cleaner environment for everyone. They deceived consumers into believing that they were partnering with utility companies when they weren't. They tricked homeowners who thought they were signing up for more information into signing binding contracts. They exaggerated how much money consumers would save on their utility bills that was likely or possible. They told consumers they were automatically eligible for tax credits when they weren't. You see that at every class, how to sell solars. When consumers tried to get out of these contracts, these companies threatened them with lawsuits and exhibited termination fees. And when consumers went through with installation, these companies often did a poor job and did not deliver on their promises. Guys, we see this every single day. It's brutal out there. Solar industry is even worse than the roofing industry. And someone have to call them out. And I guess I'll be the guy with attorney generals who really care about citizens because we have to protect the consumer. Roofing Insights is a consumer advocate channel. Thank you guys for your support over the years. Thank you for helping us to fight this fight because we get a lot of pressure. When you call out billion dollar finance companies, I mean, Green Sky is the third player on the list that we don't recommend. Green Sky sent us cease and desist letter a couple of years ago, calling us liars, calling us uh, sp spreading bad information or false information about them. Of course, I shared it with you and I told them to go pound cent because Green Sky, you're a crook as well. You're one of the worst finance companies in this industry. And you're also under big heat these days for what you've done. You deserve. Karma is the bitch, they say. I I'm gonna put links below in this video. Especially if you live in Minnesota, there's few resources from Attorney General. They do have a guide, uh, guidance for planning and installing your own solar energy system. And we're gonna also publish our guide as well. Here's another spicy story about Green Sky. There's so many stories that I have to pick and choose which one to run. But if you Google Green Sky, if you Google Scanlight and any other company that's, that are on a bad list here at Roofing Insights, you're probably going to get a lot of negative publicity. But I'm just going to share with you this one. CFPB takes action against fintech company Green Sky for enabling merchants to secure loans for consumers without their authorization. CFPB found that Green Sky engaged in unfair practices against their customers in violation of the Consumer Financial Protection Act of 2010. The violations involved the company's loan origination and servicing activities, which includes processing and servicing unauthorized loans, 6,000 complaints between 2014 and 2019. Uh, the company's complaint investigation found that at least 1,600 instances, its merchants were at fault, structuring the Green Sky program in a manner that enabled unauthorized loans. Sometimes you wonder, how is it so easy to sell these loans? Well, it's like this. Greed travels from all the way at the bottom to all the way at the top. These finance companies are oftentimes publicly traded companies. So they do need to give money to people at high interest rate and they do need feet on the ground to sell those loans and they make it pretty easy to the sales rep on the ground to offer the loan to authorize that loan and despite the fact that it's not a good deal for the consumer for entire sales cycle to be closed within 
30 to 60 minutes. I mean, think about it. You're selling $130,000 solar roof that should cost 40 grand. Ask yourself what's happening with the rest of the money. That sales rep will get, you know, anywhere from five to $20,000 commission. It's a pretty good day for a sales rep, right? The company is getting richer. The sales rep is getting richer. The financing company is getting richer. Everything in the air, everything is, the money moves, like they're printing money in a sense until they don't, until someone looks in and is like, hey, why this is happening? Who is authorizing this loan? Do you know the problem in 2008, 2009, when we have house market crash? One of the problems there was very similar. People were buying homes. People who could not afford were getting all these loans. Someone was authorizing on the back end loans that should not be authorized. The same happening now in the solar industry. In the last two years, I've spoke to thousands of ex-solar business owners who could not stay in business for more than two years. Think about it. They do all this business, they do all these loans, and then they cannot pay bills and they go out of business. And they start it again. As I started this video, you probably have heard two or three companies, they changed their names already. Why do they do it? Why do you have to change the name? Why do you have to rebrand? Because of bad publicity. And you will have bad publicity when you have a bad product, bad service, and you don't deliver on your promises. Happens a lot. I don't wanna finish this video on a negative note. I want you to know that we do recognize good players in the industry. There are good contractors and bad contractors. Our job at Director is to do just that, to call out the bad practice, highlight the good one, and we don't give bad recommendations. Go to directory.com and you will find every solar contractor that we do recommend in our network. If you're the one, if you think that you're the best of the best and you're transparent in your practices, have nothing to hide, apply within, we would like to recommend you. As far as finance companies, few that I can recommend that I don't see any fault. Companies like Service Finance, I've used them for years. You can be safe with the Enter Bank, local credit unions, company called SunGage and Dividend. On the opposite spectrum, there are at least four companies that we have a problem with, that we see a lot of shadiness, a lot of stuff that we hate here at Roofing Insights, companies like Sunlight, you've seen the stories today, Good Leap is another one, Green Sky, obviously, and I would add Mosaic to that list. So those four, we don't recommend, those five, we do recommend. If you like this type of content, please like this video, comment below, everything helps, and I'll see you guys in the next one.